Okay, guys, I received your submissions of um, animal cell drawings, and I decided to uh, show how to draw the cell uh, quickly and how to make sense of all organelles. First of all, I want you to think about the cell as a country, and each country always have a border. And I am drawing the border of this country, which is a plasma membrane. A plasma membrane, as a border, always have some gates, some posts, some custom controls. It also has cell markers embedded in this membrane. So our immune system can quickly recognize which cell belongs to our body and which one is not. Bacterial cells do not belong to our body, so that's when we get sick, when immune system starts fighting the disease. So plasma membrane uh, is a fat layer. It's made of lipids. Everything except those gates and mm, marker, cell markers, everything except proteins that are floating like rafts on this plasma membrane, everything else is lipids. So, uh, okay, we got the border, plasma membrane. Now we want you to think about uh, the capital of the country or downtown of every city. And this is a nucleus. Nucleus keeps DNA in here, and DNA is the constitution for the whole body, for each cell, and it never leaves the nucleus. Um, then, I want you to build a system of roads for your country, going into every direction, and this is endoplasmic reticulum or ER. I will try not to write on this thing because um, because it's upside down. So ER can be rough and smooth. What makes it rough are those little buttons of ribosomes that are sitting on it. Those ribosomes are important cell organelles. They are busy synthesizing proteins. Because remember, you are your proteins, not your carbohydrates, not your fats. You are your proteins. And cells are constantly synthesizing proteins. The other parts of the ER are busy synthesizing parts of cell membrane, which is made of lipids. So smooth ER right here is synthesizing lipids. And there are the lipids necessary for the cell to function. Now I'm going to add a nuclear station, a nuclear power station. Guess what it is? This is mitochondrion. Or if I add a couple of this, the plural will be mitochondria. What they do, they get glucose and fats. Remember, we all have similar carbohydrates and fats. Mitochondria will uh, suck off the energy of chemical bonds of uh, fats and carbohydrates and will produce ATP upside down again. Um, near the mitochondria, there are peroxisomes that help to get rid of um, uh, free radicals also um, uh, perform some other functions mentioned in the textbooks. Um, you eat all those blueberries, all those antioxidants 
to lower the effect of your mitochondria because if your mitochondria is uh, uh, mitochondria are malfunctioning um, well uh, your longevity goes down it was shown that people who live long lives uh, lives uh, have a special genes activated in mitochondria uh, another interesting fact about mitochondria is that it has its own DNA and we think it's some ancient organisms that got gobbled up by animal cell and right now as a slave is working to provide energy for the cell. Another interesting organelle is Golgi apparatus. It looks like a stack of pancakes and what it does well, what I want you to think about it, I want you to think about it as a post office. Because what it does, it gets proteins that use the rod of endoplasmic reticulum and the little vesicles, which are protein vehicles that are coming to Golgi apparatus and then it modifies proteins in the way uh, how post office modifies our packages that go somewhere it, it just put some stickers on it and put some addresses and put some custom forms and everything and then post office ships out our packages Golgi apparatus ships out the protein think about insulin it is synthesized in the cells but it has to go out of the cells into the bloodstream and regulate the entire body um, entire body concentration of glucose in the bloodstream so Golgi apparatus always drawn in a strange way on different models um, and don't forget vesicles, little protein vehicles coming to Golgi apparatus and getting out of the Golgi apparatus because uh, now they contain um, modified proteins scheduled to go out or scheduled to go to different part of the cell. Now each city is uh, producing some trash and you know cell organelles need to be replaced once in a while and that's where we have lysosome I'm putting L here lysosome from the word lysis uh, it has digestive proteins it can come to any organelle and merge with that and those digestive proteins then digestive enzymes will devour the worn out organelle so the cell can build a new one it also collects different trash around the cell like bacterial parts that the cell killed um, some mm, viral parts um, worn out uh, cytoskeleton uh, and so on and the last thing that I want you to draw on this map is cytoskeleton because cytoskeleton maintains a cell shape and is represented by fibers of different size and shape it's just like skeleton Well, that's it. That is your cell. There are also, uh, you know, centriolis, which is organelle used for division. Um, but basically, that's it. Beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Well, thank you very much for your drawings, and um, yeah, see you online.